Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Now you guys will notice some changes. I've messed around with some texture packs, and we currently have equipped the Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack. And I'll explain this one, uh, the hats one, in a second. But uh, it just came out for 1.9, or it's been out for 1.9 for a little while. And I figured, because we're doing a lot of Minecraft series with the vanilla textures... Maybe try a um, different texture pack, something that looks a little different. Give us kind of a, a different f a vibe and feel to the game. Just trying it out, you know, seeing how it works. Uh, it makes it easy when it's single player because not everyone else has to download the texture pack. Makes it really nice. Um, and so it does kind of make iron armor look kind of weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing like a giant knight suit, which I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so I did go ahead and make some diamond chestplate and leggings, but we need to enchant those. I only have 29 levels. But yeah, let's go ahead and get going, guys. So you guys will notice the texture changes. I, we've played with this before uh, in past series. The one thing I love is that the signs are now readable. I don't have to, you know, fi like, walking by here, I can figure out, you know, exactly what everything is. Uh, and then, you know, chests look pretty nice. The snow textures are really good. I really like those. Um... I'm not sure if I would use it too much more for building, but it'd be cool, like a pathway of some sort. Hello, friend. Uh, just passing through, okay. And uh, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is, yes, these are command blocks. Don't freak out. No one freak out. All right, calm down. That's good. Calm. Breathe in, breathe out. We're good. Okay, so with the hats texture, I kind of wanted to test some things out, see how you guys like this. Comment down below, guys. If you don't like the texture pack, let me know. If you don't like... You know, the hats I'm about to show you guys, let me know. But I saw this uh, as a Minecraft texture pack that uh, basically the command is that if we set a diamond block, a gold block, and an iron block to our head, it will give us a, di a different texture. Um, so the iron block and the gold block are the ones I'm really interested in. So let's go ahead and click the iron block, and you guys will see we have a cake hat. And look, look at the little flame at the top. It looks so cool. Uh, the K-Cat, which it looks, you know, it's pretty decent looking from the back. I can't really, uh, we can actually take this off. The only thing is, like, I, I'm not going to convert this into iron. Uh, I won't do that. But if we toss this on the ground, you guys can see what the texture actually looks like. It's a lot smaller, uh, but it's just the way that the texture works. Uh, I will leave a link to the description, uh, in, to the description, what? leave a link uh, in the description below to this texture pack uh, so let's just throw this off the edge never to be seen again and uh, then the next one is long hair in Minecraft <laughs> definitely not going to be using this one uh, it's very strange uh, but it is a gold block and that's kind of what it looks like you can't see the bottom of it but uh, let's throw this one off never to be seen again and my favorite, and it is the diamond block. I love this texture. You guys ready? It's my dream. If Minecraft had this in regular Minecraft, I would be like, yes, it's the greatest. <gasps> yes, it's a top hat with a monocle, guys. This is probably the coolest hat out of the pack. It uses wool. This is all like actual blocks in the game, where they just retextured. And it looks really cool. And with the BD craft, uh, the glass pane on my eye right there, I don't have Optifine. Can I get like real close? Yeah, the glass, this is a little too close. <laughs> uh, the glass pane there uh, looks a lot better than a normal glass pane. But yeah, enough about the textures that we're going to be working with because we need to start doing some things. We're already four minutes in, we haven't looked at anything. So uh, some changes I've made to the base. I've done some serious building. And I've added glowstone and jack-o'-lanterns here. I've changed this out with blue, red, and green glass. You can't really see the red glass too well, but, you know, it, it works. It, it looks really nice, in my opinion. Put purple glass up here uh, with glowstone and some stone bricks, which I really like the stone bricks texture, as well as we've added a iron trap doors here. The reason I had to add that was because it was too dark right here and mobs were spawning. Got sandstone along in here, and then the... New glass paint panes. Yes, I said that right. <laughs> uh, the new glass panes, uh, how they work. Um, I missed one there. Um, but yeah, it basically puts like a little pillar there. I thought that really looked good for fences, like a fence sort of feature. Then we've got glowstone down here in this pool. 
looks really nice. I did a lot of building just because uh, mainly focusing on redstone in this series. So I figured to make make it look nice, make it look fresh and wonderful, and the bed texture looks amazing. Uh, the auto smelters I've been uh, using up here to smelt some things. Uh, let's go drop off the armor. Um, I do want to work on the enchantment station at some point here. I, I'm not liking this, but uh, really can't do that today because I've got some big plans for today. But uh, let's head over to here, and we have to go down the stairs. Now, the stairs are a little tricky and not working out like I had hoped they would. Um, just with the jack lantern and so forth and the ceiling being lower so we're going to work on a transportation a way of getting down and up really quickly not slime blocks so give me guys an update on the uh the horses we've got several different health horses you guys can see uh, we've got how many health points is that um that is there's 10 12 health points there uh yes 12 health points 13 i do i do take a little bit of damage so we might have to move those guys eventually. Uh, then I got a good jumping horse here. Um, he jumps about three blocks, I think. I don't really have a good way of testing these guys. But we might take him out on our, our adventure we're going to go on today. Got a few speed horses here. Um, not too crazy in hearts. Uh, I think... I think it's this one. This guy right here is the fastest horse I have. So let's take the saddle off of this guy. And we're just going to stick it on you sir but we're not going to use you quite yet so what we need to do is i want to make an easy way of getting up and down in our base now there's a couple good ways of doing it there's you know slime block launchers but they take up a lot of redstone space we have uh ladders slow uh water slow <laughs> uh we've had our fair share of working with water in the past but one of the things that i really am liking is mine carts Minecarts with ladders. I'm really liking that. Um, so let's go ahead and work a little bit with that. The redstone torches look. The redstone torches are on point. Look at that. That's so cool. The redstone in this pack is looking really nice. Um, so I need rails, minecarts. Uh, we're going to need at least two. We've got tons of ladders. Um, let's grab ourselves a little bit of iron here. We'll make two. Should be good. Um, that's all we should need for right now. But we will eventually add more and more as we add more and more levels to our base. Pretty much just working out the bugs, working out how I want things to look and run and so forth. Also got a power to unbreaking two bow from the skeleton grinder that we have set up. Not the one in our base, at the one uh, in through the nether portals. So I'm thinking we're going to make a way of descending in minecarts. And I've been thinking of the best way to do this without it being in the way and it actually looking half decent as well as easily accessible. Now part of me wants to do it like right in here, but again that's in the way. Not as accessible, but we might we might try it. Let's just see how this looks. We have to go down to here. We don't have any shears on us. Do we have shears? We have shears. Where? There. I'm sorry. New textures. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking let's let's actually try building it here. So let's put our sandstone slab back there. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky with the um, slabs. Let's actually go grab some more stand sandstone sandstone slabs real quick here. Um, harvest these pumpkins as well because I need them for lighting. Something I have been needing them for recently is a lot of lighting here. Um, so let's drop these. So nice to be able to read these signs now. Uh, let's grab ourselves. Where's our sandstone? There you are. Sandstone slabs. Um, I think that's a little bit easier. Excuse me, Frank. Can you go back in the nether portal? That would be really nice of you. Just saying. It's just a suggestion. Okay. Okay. So let's um. Hmm, let's do this. Let's take out the crafting table, and let's surround this thing like so. And then what we're going to need to do is put a rail there, and then blocks on the side here. And then we'd have to have a ladder there. Yes, ladder there. And then we'll just put a rail here. We'll surround this. 
in blocks just for temporary purposes. I need to, to actually grab uh, some better blocks for this. Okay, um, get a ladder there. That will work. And let's uh, get this torch here. And then let's head up here. And we got to put the minecart. We've got to roll this minecart onto the ladder portion here. So let's actually make sure we wall this off appropriately. And let's get our... Oh, gosh. I hate when this does this, where I have to put an extra rail here to get it to face the right direction. All right, and then we stick the minecart into there. You guys kind of saw how that worked. Um, let's uh, let's get this thing cleaned up just a little bit. Let's see, can we place... Yes, that's, that's the main goal, is if we can place blocks there right next to it. So basically how we would transport ourselves, we click on here, hit shift. Oh, no. We have to actually go down the ladder. There we go. And then to go up, we click on here, then click on here, hit shift, and now we're up. So yeah, it's a good transportation system. We just, you know, hop down, you know, and then we would, you know, go do our things over here, and then we click on the minecart, and then click up here, and now we're up. So it makes it nice, so that way we can actually get rid of this stairway, which I'll probably do off camera because there's a lot of cleanup work. And uh, I've got some bigger plans for today's episode, but let's go ahead and grab ourselves, um, let's see, we'll grab ourselves some stone bricks, we have stone brick stairs, I'll grab ourselves some stone bricks and some other materials that we need, um, let's go ahead and put the ladders back, oh, we need to put the crafting table back as well, um, let's put the, where do we put the rails at, I think in here, rails in there, and what else am I looking for here? Stone bricks. We don't have a whole lot here. Let's make some more. I've been using some stone bricks as well um, because I love the stone brick texture. I really do. It looks really nice in this texture pack. Uh, anything else that we need to grab? I don't think so. I think we're good. Just to try and make this uh, setup we just did here look a little bit better. Crafting table can go here. Uh, move it out of the way just a little bit and we don't really have to worry about falling in here too much uh, as long as we're not you know, just randomly running around and yeah that'll work <laughs> all right uh, let's actually put this thing to use gonna remember not to click and actually just let it fall down uh, gotta be careful that we don't push the minecart off here just break this the wool textures look really nice as well okay and then we'll put some stone bricks in here uh, be careful we're not breaking anything we shouldn't be breaking back here we'll put some stone bricks uh, we'll leave the where the ladder is with just cobblestone I'm not too worried about that uh, and there and there and then we have to put sandstone slabs down in here and that's looking pretty nice as our transportation system I'll uh, put our stone our sandstone slabs up there as well and we can actually access the crafting table from down here now which that looks actually pretty good I'm liking that Alright guys, so we're down here on the second level, and I've been mining out a very large area here. And uh, you guys will see all the pens that we've got picked out here. The path, this, these are new path blocks by the way. And they look really nice. Uh, we get these by just uh, right clicking, uh, yeah, right clicking on grass, and we get the path block. Looks really nice, random emerald ore right there. <laughs> uh, so I've got exactly 16 pens in this area now if you guys are familiar with pretty much you know playing with minecraft you know so forth and what other youtubers have done uh, we are going to be setting up a project rainbow project rainbow is basically we need to get every single die in the game and then what we're going to do with that is well we'll be able to die every sheep and then have every type of keller pool in the game. That's the goal. So what I want to do is work on beginning to craft uh, the different wool that we need. So I've got a few of the different dyes actually. Different dyes should be saying that. So we need two of every die. And so let's go into here. So I've already got a peony here. Let's uh. Let's see, that makes us pink dye. So pink dye is done. We got pink dye. Um, so now I need two cactus. And we actually need one extra to make the lime dye. Um, Lilac makes uh, pink as well. Don't need that. Um, 
let's see what else we have several other we have dyes in here as well um so we already have the cactus dye actually so we don't need to do the cactus uh we will need some lime green dye got the purple already we have white um we have just try and get two of everything here one two uh rose red probably can make just oh yeah let's keep that with us and two of the purple two of the cactus we need one extra of the cactus to make ourselves the um lime green so let's go ahead and do this um, this is bone meal, so we could actually do this right now. Um, just make the cactus, or not, keep saying cactus, lime green. So lime dye is done. Um, so let's go ahead and put the bone meal back in here. All right, so now we need orange. Um, so we're actually going to need some lapis. And no, not lapis. We're going to need yellow and red. So we need to go up to the surface and uh, begin to do that. Probably should have brought bone meal with me. Um, we do have a few. Whoops, don't mean to go down here. Uh, first time I've actually done that. <laughs> uh, let's grab some bone meal from right here. Just grab some bones. That work fine. Uh, we do need two lapis. Let's see. No, we we'll actually need four lapis to make the uh, light blue. Um, so we can actually do that right now. Let's make ourselves one. Actually, only. One lapis there. So let's put that extra lapis back there. So we got light blue, we got the blue um, got bone meal here. We'll keep that on us because we're sure going to need to dye things. Uh, the ink sacks, we're going to need to make light gray as well. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some more ink. I probably should pull up the dyes in, the, in another tab here, but I'm too lazy. So we're just going to kind of go as we uh, see fit here. Um, let's grab all of our ink because we're probably going to need it. So let's make ourselves the gray dye. We'll make two sets of that. And then we need light gray dye. So we got that. So we got all the grays. Um, okay, so the ink can actually go back now. We don't need any more ink. Um, we need to make light purple. So let's make that. Just need one, I think. Can we make light purple? I don't think there is such a thing. What am I talking about? We've got purple. What? Why? Why did I think there was? We're going crazy here. Uh, we need. So yeah, we already made the pink. We need to get uh some yellow flowers. We need yellow and orange that we can make from the yellow flowers. Um, I'm thinking about light. I think it's light purple clay or something. I don't know. I've been playing too much modded, probably. Uh, so let's grab ourselves our horse here. Uh, we'll get the golden armor out of this chest real quick. Grab you, sir. Stick the golden armor so you look nice and majestic. Let's close this up. And let's probably should... We actually probably should have a stairway somewhere. Of course it's night. I didn't look at the clock here. Uh, probably should have a stairway somewhere to get the horses out. But uh, trying to keep the circular... Uh, idea going like maybe a horse elevator of some sort like a slime block thing would be kind of cool at some point but We need like a slime farm. I think I've noticed by this texture pack it does, it does do this little glitchy thing here. We are still going up the stairs It's just being strange. Okay, um, so we need to collect The grass out here and everything looks amazing. Um, we need to collect a few of these yellow um, Four should be good. I uh, can't craft in a horse. Why? <laughs> uh, let's make ourselves the yellow. We'll convert that into. Whoops. We need to make ourselves the orange, and we need to get ourselves some more red as well. Um, so we'll have to go look for some red flowers. I see some up there. That should be good. Um, trying to think what else. How many other dyes we need? I know we need several others. Uh, we need the coconut, which that's going to that's gonna be the hardest one to get is the uh, cocoa beans because we have to go to a jungle. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven out of sixteen. Okay, so we're on our way here. Um, what are let me pull up the tab 
and then I'll figure out the other dyes that we need. All right, guys, so cyan and magenta. That was the light purple I was thinking of, so I was right. Don't... <laughs> All right, uh, so let's make ourselves... How do we make this again? Oh, gosh, let me look at the thing. Uh, bone... What? Okay, so we need red and purple together. Nope, that's not it. I'm looking at the recipe on how to do this, and this isn't very helpful. Die chart, you're not working correctly. Oh, pink and purple. Jeez, I'm really losing it. All right, so we get magenta there. Uh, we do need to make some more pink. Got enough purple here. Probably should keep the purples all together. Um, so we need to get another rose here. Where's my horse? Come here. All right, let's grab another rose here real quick. And then we need cocoa beans and then cyan, I think are the other two that we need. Um, so yeah, let's uh, can't craft a horse, why not? Uh, all right, so cyan is green and blue together makes cyan. There we go, very nice. So then we need to just cook up an extra cactus and grab a piece of lapis. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 16. So I'm um, cocoa beans. And I'm missing one. There are 16 dyes, right? Let me look. All right, guys. So what we need to do now is look for some cocoa beans. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this, but the preferred way is to... Where am I going? Okay, my base is right there. I'm not sure why I'm heading towards the village. Uh, so, preferred way to do it is to go to a jungle. So, that's what we're going to need to do. So, i got to find a jungle, which ought to be fun. Alright, guys. So, it has actually been a day since I last recorded. But, we now have cocoa beans. Yay! <laughs> uh, Went to the jungle. I will show you guys the uh, the tunnel that we had to dig. We had to go over a lot of lava to get where we needed to go. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the jungle and I'll show you guys that real quick. It's kind of funny, guys. Our pathway actually leads us through a nether fortress just to go through our pathway. So I have encountered a couple blazes. Oh, look. Little cute magma slime. And here we are, guys. We have arrived at the nether portal to the jungle. It's not an incredibly far walk. I've walked farther, um, but we definitely want to set up a minecart to get here uh, a lot quicker. But yeah, let's just jump into the jungle here. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. Of course it's night. Why does it always have to be night here? Oh, I got jungle sapling. Nice. So yeah, nothing too crazy going on here. I just uh, took down a tree just so I could get up and down off the surface here. Um, yeah, not a whole lot's going on in here. I haven't seen any jungle temples, but we were able to grab some cocoa beans from here. So it made it really nice because we were able to complete our quest for all the dyes. I'm missing one die. I only have 15, but I can't figure out for the life of me what that 16th die is. But yeah, see you guys back at the base. So it is raining outside. <laughs> Alright, so um, unfortunately we've run out of sheep here, so I'm going to breed these guys up a little bit. I've got two sheep left in the pen upstairs, and so we will use those guys to produce um, more sheep for us. We're missing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six sets, so we'll have to go and breed those guys up, but uh, let's just go ahead and breed you guys up a little bit, get these, uh, all the different colored sheep, because uh, what they'll do is they'll breed the same color that they are already, so um, yeah, I already bred you. Alright, so yeah, we bred all these guys, and uh, we, you know, Project Rainbow is officially underway. Alright guys, so... I realized that last episode we did not do the subscriber mineshaft, and we need to do that this episode. Uh, need to keep on top of that, need to keep up with it. I've added the uh, the Borg 1234 and HLM 5678. Hey, that 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. <laughs> and uh, so let's grab our fortune there. Uh, I also need my silk touch pick, silky. And unfortunately, uh, the awesome cookies pick. It's really like it's. 35 some levels, so I did make another uh, efficiency for on breaking three pickaxe. So that's what we need to name uh, this episode. And I forgot to grab a sign. Uh, let's grab me two. Where did I put my signs? There you are. Oh, stop, Thunder. You're being annoying. And then put our jungle saplings. Nope, jungle saplings. There we go. Alright, so four jack jungles. Jackling? Jungle saplings. <laughs> and uh, what we can do there is make one of the giant jungle trees. So yeah, let's head down to the subscriber mineshaft. And basically, if you guys don't know how this works, is when I see like a, a lot of support or comments on my channel, uh, anywhere that I find diamonds, like right here, I will give you guys a shout out. So today's shout out goes to another Cloud Moo member, CheatCat49 who just commented nice video and it made my day because like when you guys comment the nice video stuff that you know encourages me to keep doing what I'm doing so let's go add the sign up to the wall probably gonna move my storage room here I don't know if anytime soon but we will end up moving the storage room and we'll have to probably move these signs but uh, let's go ahead whoops not two H's two E's cheat cat 49 nope cheat cat 49 there we go and then let's go ahead and name uh, the pickaxe now I did move my anvil somewhere uh, in a very interesting place I wanted to put this on top of an end rod but I put it on top of a button here so that way it'll just kind of hang up here pretty easily accessible when I'm working with uh, my you know smelters and so forth but uh, let's put this as cheat cats laser drill I've done laser drill before but <laughs> run out of ideas here but uh unfortunately guys we are out of time for today's episode we've been going a little bit too long i think so uh yeah let's just go ahead and replant these replant them on the other side as well at some point here we'll set up a semi-automatic cocoa bean farm basically I have to figure out what the timings is for cocoa beans, like how quickly they grow, and then we might be able to automate it. Um, I'm not sure though. I don't think dispensers can place cocoa beans though. So that's a sad times. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, as well as check out any of the other videos on my channel if you guys want to see more of this. As well as let me know about the texture pack and what you think of the top hat. I like both of them. I think the texture pack is something that I might end up using for this series just to kind of change it up a little bit so you guys aren't looking at Minecraft textures constantly. We're looking at something a little bit different. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.